on the docket here on NPS TV. The Kimmicks in their home white uniforms, the Chargers wearing their road green. And here we go with boys basketball on NPS TV. The Kimmicks will win the tip. Midland High quickly working the ball around the perimeter. Midland High going on the far side, three-pointer taken by Garrett Willis, count it. Midland High wasting no time, and the Kimmicks putting some pressure on the Chargers. First basket of the game, Garrett Willis able to hit the three. Chargers down court, working with Kevin Murray. Back up to the top of the key, now to Trevor Davis. Davis taking a great screen by Caleb Brudo. Brudo's got the basketball now for the Chargers. On the far side, both teams with quick passes around the perimeter. Both teams can be very patient when needed. Dow High works inside, great pass, and Caleb Brudo left alone in the lane. Brudo able to score for the Chargers. Both teams with a bucket on their first possession of the contest. Stealing it away, Zach Chichester, the junior with the steal, looks to go coast to coast and will draw the foul. Zach Chichester will go to the free throw line. Martin Money picking up a foul early. Now, before the game, I, I was under the understanding that uh, Logan da Daniels would be starting, but I see that they've got Kevin Murray in there right now. On the free throw line, that was a last minute change made by Mark Dickerson, who did indeed have uh, Logan listed as the uh, starter originally and made a change. Both free throws are good on the free throw line for Chichester. Chichester coming off a 14 point game against Lapeer. Three point shot taken. Isaiah Bridges, he's a sophomore for Midland High. Kimmicks with two three pointers in the first 90 seconds of this contest. Well, you got to get the sophomores involved, and that's what Isaiah is. Yeah, Midland High, very young team, a lot of sophomores. Right now, Trevor Davis working the ball. Nice bounce pass, but Logan Daniels, it was knocked away, so Chargers will keep possession. Daniels is in there now for Dow High, so he did start. So did Kevin Murray. Was it Molinar that didn't start? Well, he wasn't supposed to. Okay. Long inbound pass. The Chargers starting five. Trevor Davis, Caleb Brudo, Zach Chichester, Logan Daniels, and Kevin Murray. Okay. Midland High countering with Jordan Patty, Martin Money, Garrett Willis, Henry Kessler, and Isaiah Bridges. Reach in foul is going to be called. Little hesitation on the whistle, but Kessler is going to be called. The officiating crew tonight, Bruce Moore, Eric Harrison, and Roy Tottingham are the three men wearing stripes. Inbound pass goes for a three-pointer. Chichester's shot is no good. Willis will bring down the rebound for Midland. Jordan Patty with a nice bounce pass. Henry Kessler, three-pointer in and out. Great rebound by Willis, and the ball goes out of bounds. It will remain Midland High basketball. Kimmix leading by two, just under six minutes to go. Wide open, nobody around. Garrett Willis, who's able to make the basket for Midland High, and the Kimmix showing a press. Well, Will Bruto was nearby, but uh, Willis went behind him. Davis is going to be fouled. And I believe that may be Kessler's second foul. And actually, it's only the first one on Kessler, but it is the third one on the Midland High Kimmick. Dow High is going to bring Isaac Molinar into the game. He's a sophomore for the Dow High Chargers. Just underway, first quarter action between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Zach Chichester. Working the ball for Dow High, and Martin Money nearly came up with a steal. Well, you kind of want the ball into a guard's hands. I'm not sure if uh, if uh, Mark Dickerson wanted Chichester uh, handling the ball at that point. Trevor Davis 
is handling the ball right now for the Chargers. Over to Chichester, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Midland. Bridges will bring it down. Martin Money will have the ball down the court for Midland. Bridges working over to Kessler. Kessler goes towards the baseline. Second shot is no good. Battle for the rebound, still on the floor. Davis will come up with it for the Chargers. Real good hustle by Trevor. Davis, one of the leaders on this Dow High Charger team. Working the ball now to Logan Daniels. Goes back to Zachary Chichester, who goes to Isaac Molinar. Molinar picks up his dribble. Now Trevor Davis with the ball for the Dow High Chargers. Nice bounce pass inside, but good defense by Willis, who got a fingertip on the ball to knock it away. Martin Money into the paint, and he'll draw the foul. Three Chargers to weave between, and... Is that on Chichester? Yeah, I believe it was going to be called on Murray. Okay, I thought Chichester uh, probably had a pretty good block on it, but Murray was the one that got it. So Martin Money will go to the free throw line for Midland. Able to hit the first free throw. Martin Money, one of those players that he's uh, he's got some strength to him, and... He just plays hard almost 100% of the time. Yeah, and uh, Krause told me, you, you, know, you, you want a winner playing uh, at your point guard. That's what he does. Second he, free throw is no good. Midland high nine, Dow high four. Four and a half minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Davis feeding it out to Molinar. Goes back to the top of the key, three-pointer no good. Garrett Willis has played well both offensively and defensively the first few minutes of this game. Work in the baseline, shot fires up too high. Now Dow High will come back the other direction with Trevor Davis working the basketball. I thought Patty might have been a little out of control on that drive. Back to the top of the key for the Dow High Chargers. Davis goes into the paint. Now to Daniels. Daniels goes back to Davis. Both teams very patient here in the first quarter. Zach Chichester working the ball for Dow. Now Davis. Davis will go baseline, but he was fouled by Willis. More or less a case of Willis losing his balance on the far <laughs> side, but it results in a foul nonetheless. Yeah, I've been watching Davis. There have been a couple times he's gotten in the lane. I thought he'd just uh, uh, turn and go to the basket. I think he's trying to get his teammates involved right now. Midland High has four fouls. Halfway through the first quarter. Davis is the person to watch for for the Dow High Chargers. He averages about 15 points a game. Three-point shot by Davis. No good. And uh, foul is going to be called during the battle for the rebound. And I believe it's going to be Isaiah Bridges called for the foul. Or was that Vincent? Who seemed no, to be the no. most? It was Bridges. Bridges, okay. And now Vaughn Walker will check into the game. Vince Walker okay. is into the game as well. So the Walker coming off the bench. Dow High very hesitant to take any shots. They've had several opportunities and a jump ball is going to be called. Possession arrow will be in favor of Dow, but it, it appears, Tom, that the Chargers are a little hesitant to take it to the hoop. Well, uh, the Chargers uh, have been working on the matchup zone that uh, Krause is trying to, to teach his players, and it may be confusing Dow High a bit right now. Nice job there by Jordan Patty, leading to the steal for the Kimmicks. Now Martin Money working the basketball for Midland High. Over to Garrett Willis, back to Money. Works it to Jordan Patty, who quickly goes to Vince Walker. He passes to Vaughn, who goes back to Willis. Willis with a long two-point shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Caleb Brudo. Brudo's got a little bit of size, the senior for the Dow High Chargers. They list him at 6'8". Uh, Mark says he's closer to 6'9". Zach Chichester misses a three-pointer, and during the rebound battle, Caleb Brudo is going to be called for a foul. Fouls adding up for both of these teams. Midland High's committed five fouls and Dow High committing two. 
We've got two and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Midland High nine, Dow High four. Both teams have kind of went on a, well, they, their offensive scoring has kind of stalled the last few minutes of this game. Both teams are cold, <laughs> to put it bluntly right now. Martin Money working to Patty, back to Money. Money working his way by a couple defenders. Garrett Willis, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Isaac Molinar of the Dow High Chargers. Close to an over and back. Very close. Brudo has the ball. Now to Logan Daniels. Goes back inside to Brudo. Brudo matched up with Walker. Can't get the shot to go. Nearly got the rebound. Instead, Vaughn Walker bringing it down. And Eric Krause nearly halfway onto the floor, trying to get Midland High motivated to move the basketball. They do, but it doesn't work out the way that they want it. Yeah, Krause was about 18 feet onto the court, but not angry with the referee. Now he was angry with the team. He wanted them to move the ball down. John White has checked in for the first time for Midland High. He was another sophomore on this very young Kimmick team. Only two seniors for Eric Kraus. Mark Dickerson only has got four seniors on his team. Right now, Molinar working the ball over to Hayes, who has checked in. Mitchell Hayes is a junior end of the game for the first time, and the ball gets away from everybody. It will be Midland High basketball. Just a little over a minute to play here in the first quarter. The feeling out process going on between both of these teams. And Midland High has really lost an opportunity here. Dow's misfired on a lot of shots. They've given the ball up, but uh, Midland High really hasn't shot well either in this quarter. Vince Walker, the older of the Walkers. Now Martin Money goes over to Garrett Willis, who feeds it over to John. Who was that? That was John White. The sophomore comes in and hits a three-pointer for the Midland High Chemex. The Chemex have their biggest lead with under a minute to go here in the first quarter. That was a big early shot for Midland High. And a, almost a steal by Walker. Zach Chichester, three-pointer, no good. Martin Money with the rebound. Quickly moving ahead to White. White is going to be blocked by Chichester. Martin Money with the putback, no good. Rebound nearly stolen away. 25 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Dow is looking for some continuity. They just can't get a feel for this against Midland High's defense. Mitchell Hayes working the ball right now for the Chargers. Back to Trevor Davis under 10 seconds to go. Clock down to five. Davis working to Chichester. Back to Davis. 2-1. Davis fires a long three-pointer and hits it from nearly midcourt. Trevor Davis hitting the three to try to spark the Dow High Chargers at the end of the first quarter. The first eight minutes in the book with Midland High on top of the Dow High Chargers by a score of 12 to 7. It kind of says it all when Dow can almost double their point total on a buzzer shot. But uh, Dow struggling on, on, on offense right now. Uh, they're selling out to the outside shot a little early. Uh, Trevor Davis is trying to get his team rolling. Uh, they're just not responding right now. And for Midland High, they're getting lots of shot, shot opportunities, but they're not shooting very well tonight either. There you take a look at uh, Mark Dickerson and what he is drawing up for the Dow High Chargers. You can't get any closer in the huddle than what the MCTV cameras are bringing you here tonight. There you take a look at uh, the man that we refer to now as Mr. MCTV, Matt Richardson, named the new managing director of Midland Community Television earlier this week. A promotion for him, a well-deserved promotion for Matt Richardson, who replaces Ron Beacom, who retired back in November. So Matt, not afraid to do the grunt camera work. He'll do whatever it takes. If you need something done in video communications, he'll, he'll do it for you. Matt has worked very well behind the scenes for a lot of years. He deserves this. Battle for the ball is going to be won by the Midland High Chemex. White with a shot, and he will go to the free throw line. 
Yeah, if you want to talk to somebody about uh, new technology, Matt is up to date with it. If you want you know, somebody to rewind your old VHS tape, <laughs> Matt can do that too, although you know, he may have to uh, figure out how that equipment works. Well, uh, I was just organizing my old VHSs the other day. It kind of puts me into an older you, age bracket. You do realize, Tom, that nobody has VHS. You, 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 can do, you can watch that on your phone. Everything that you have on VHS, you can now watch on your phone. Well, I have a VHS player on an old TV <laughs> that my wife wants me to throw out. but uh, I can't imagine why. I've hit it in a corner of the basement. John White, one of two on the free throw line for Midland High. Now Jordan Patty will work the ball over to Walker. Couple of dribbles, but Patty will take it back. Midland High leading 13 to 7 here in the second quarter. Walker drives in the bucket and the foul. Vince Walker will have a chance for a three point play. That looked nice. Well, uh, Eric told me that Vince Walker uh, has the talent to start, but just found that the team chemistry is a little better when he comes off the bench. And a lot of great uh, uh, announcers and coaches have said that uh, it's not who starts, who finishes. Walker getting the three-point play. He's coming off a double-double against Davison a week ago. Midland High leading this game early in the second quarter. Chargers, Trevor Davis with the basketball. Davis being guarded by Walker, works it back around. Now Mitchell Hayes. He came off the bench in the first quarter. Works to Isaac Molinar, goes back to Trevor Davis. Midlands played pretty good defense here in the first half of this contest. Mitchell Hayes with the ball being guarded by Willis. Hayes and the Chargers finding a hard time of finding anybody open. Great defense by Midland High. You see Eric Krause at the bottom of your screen. He loves the defense that Midland is playing right now. Nearly came up with a steal. Trevor Davis passing at the last second. And a foul is going to be called. Garrett Willis had the block. But it's going to be Jordan Patty that is going to be called with the foul. Yeah, Patty got him low. And Jordan uh, got his hand above the shot. Eric Krause uh, asking Eric Harrison about that, uh, about that call. And Eric's trying not to show up the referee. He's got his back turned, but giving him an earful. Eric Krause is one of those coaches that works officials in a very positive way. There are there are some uh, you know some coaches that know how to uh, how to talk to officials. Some coaches that do not. And Eric Krause is one of those that more times than not he can make a point without. Uh, without getting angry, although that happens occasionally too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight-point game, six and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. On the other side, I don't know that, it, that I've ever seen Mark Dickerson angry. Patty with a nice rebound, appeared to be a nice block by Isaac Molinar. We'll see who they called the foul on. It is Molinar called for the foul. Appeared from our vantage point that that was pretty clean. Roy Tottingham did not think so. Well, uh, so sometimes he doesn't get the best angles. <laughs> On the free throw line is Jordan Patty. He is a senior for the Midland High Chemex. His main sport is baseball. He's going to go to Central Michigan to play baseball. But he's been improving as a basketball player this year. Dow High working down. Chargers three-pointer. Shot is no good. Out of bounds. Midland High basketball. Dow High is going to bring Caleb Rudo back into the game. Well, Mark Dickerson told me that uh, he's not afraid to play a lot of players. So right now, I think he's searching for a combination. Midland High working the baseline, shot partially blocked. I think that was Molinar that may have got a piece of that basketball. Inbound pass, 
The bucket no good for I for Bridges, who has checked back into the game for Midland. Chargers coming away with it. Trevor Davis looking to go one on one with Patty, but from behind, Vince Walker with the block. See, good things happen when you hustle. Walker has played very well since coming off the bench for Midland. Dow high with the basketball. Walker coming away with the steal. Two on one for Midland, and Walker will get the bucket and the foul. Vince Walker, the second time tonight, Walker will have a chance for a three-point play. Vince Walker averages nine points and eight rebounds. Those stats uh, may be uh, going up a little bit after last week and after tonight. Free throw no good. Bruto with the rebound. Nearly stolen away by Money, but the Chargers able to keep possession. Nine-point Midland High lead. The Kimmicks have led the entire game. Trevor Davis with the ball, looking to dribble out of trouble. Midland's defense has been exceptional here in the second quarter. Ch right now, Chichester drives in and has the ball blocked away. Henry Kessler coming up with the block. Now that's what happens when you keep your head up and you are always aware of what's going on on the strong side of the court. And Henry made the step in and stopped the play cold. Caleb Brudo heads to the bench for the Dow High Chargers. Working inside to Logan Daniels and a block underneath. Martin Money fired up. The Kimmick fans are fired up. Midland leading by nine. Does Mark, Mark Dickerson need a timeout? Uh, that, well, right now, he's just got to get his offense. Well, oh, good call. Good call. Yep. So Mark Dickerson will use the first timeout for the Dow High Chargers with 4.51 to play here in the second quarter. High school sports here on MPS TV and the coverage of this game being produced by staff and volunteers. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer, our next orientation is going to be on Saturday, February 11th at 10 o'clock in the morning. It'll take place in the MCTV studio in the basement of the library. If you need more information, call 837-3474. You can also find us on Facebook and become our friend or go to the City of Midland website. Get involved uh, with MCTV. That could be you. All you have to do is make the step and uh, call 837 3474. Those cameras look fun. Oh, those, those cameras are nice. Those are new. High definition. You can check out high definition programming on our YouTube, on the MPS YouTube channel. By the way, 21 years, Tom. It seems like only yesterday. That is how long <laughs> you and me have been standing shoulder to shoulder doing high school basketball. In some very uncomfortable spots along the road. We get lots of room here at home, but I remember trying to climb over the table, trying to look at a scoreboard once. Well, the one game that you had to sit on my lap, that was a little uncomfortable, but you know, that's okay. We made it through. <laughs> Oh, I try to forget that one. <laughs> the Dow High Chargers <laughs> with the ball after the timeout. Bounce pass goes inside, but Trevor Davis travels. Now Mark Dickerson was hoping that that timeout for the Chargers would calm things down, ease things a little bit, but that is not what has happened. Martin Money. Splitting apart the defense, Money will be called with the charge. Good call. Take some courage uh, to stand in front of a, an aggressive football player turned basketball this season. Now Money is physical. He is. He plays hard. He's very passionate for every, every sport he's involved with. Four and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. 
Tom Oakley at the end of the game for the Dow High Chargers. Trevor Davis working the ball right now. Davis has been relatively quiet. Only three points in the first half for Davis, who comes into the game averaging about 15. Daniels goes back to Davis. Davis goes into the paint high off the glass. Can't get it to go. Garrett Willis will have the rebound for Midland. Willis working ahead to Bridges. From the baseline, counts the bucket. Isaiah Bridges, 6'3", sophomore. Bridges has got five points here for Midland High. And he's only going to get better and better as he gets a little more experience. Working inside, Zach Chichester can't get the bucket. Everything but. And Dow High scoring drought continues. On the baseline and a travel call against Kessler. He tiptoed through the crowd a little bit, trying to find his footing. Jordan Patty checking back in for Midland. Ben Zettler will check back in for the uh, for the Dow High Chargers. In fact, Zettler into the game for the first time. Zettler working to Oakley. Works it back out over to Daniels. Daniels with a long pass across to Trevor Davis. We're getting towards the end of the second quarter and Dow just really hasn't found any way to break this um, this defensive pressure other than the foul, get foul. Garrett Willis called with the foul. That's the second one on Willis, sets up a one and one for the Dow High Chargers will put Tom Oakley onto the uh, free throw line. Outside of the three pointer that Davis made at the buzzer, Dow's only had five points within their offense. Oakley missing the first half of the one and one. John White back into the game, feeds it over to Bridges, counts the bucket. Isaiah Bridges increasing Midland High's lead 23 to 8. 235 to go. The first half belonging to Midland here at home in the first of two meetings. Zach Chichester, three-pointer, no good. Vince Walker will pull down the rebound for Midland. Walker catch, caught his breath. He's back on the floor. John White count the bucket. White has played very well off the bench. The sophomore's got six points for Midland. Biggest lead of the game so far for the Chemex and the Chargers. It has been a long time since Dow High has scored. Oakley picking up his dribble, bounce pass to Daniels. Daniels to Trevor Davis. Davis doing a good job keeping a hold of the ball and Davis breaking that scoring drought. <coughs> getting the bucket for Dow High. And Midland High will go to the free throw line. Chichester will pick up the foul. John White will be on the free throw line for Midland. 15 point lead. 16 point lead with 148 to play. Midland High is going to bring Vaughn Walker and Henry Kessler back into the game. And Eric's got to be really tickled that uh, his young sophomores mixed with some seasoned juniors and seniors that played in the, the regional finals last year uh, are playing together so well right now. White hits both of the free throws. Midland High leading 27 to 10, 140 to go here in the second quarter. Trevor Davis over to Chichester. Works the ball back to Bruto, who has checked back into the game, and then he throws it away. So Midland High will bring the ball up court. Jordan Patty into the paint for the Chemex. Great move, but can't get the bucket to fall. Rebound by the Chargers. Right now, Dow High, Ben Settler bringing the ball down. Chargers may be hoping just to get the next minute in the book so they can go and make some halftime adjustments. Davis, three-pointer no good. Patty will get the rebound for Midland. Kimmicks working it ahead. Back to the top of the key. Patty all by himself. Three-pointer. 
Mark Dickerson calls a timeout. The Chemex have a 20 point lead with 53 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Dow High should have had someone running up to Pat at Patty, giving him something else to think about, and they just let him go. Now Mark Dickerson looking for some answers for the Dow High Chargers. Midland High, meanwhile, is the team that is riding the momentum. So many great athletes for Midland High, not necessarily, you know, basketball athletes. Midland High's just got athletes in general, athletes that play more than one sport. And, you know, that has been a hot topic, a hot button conversation. You know, is it better to, to be a specialist in one sport? Is it better to play multiple sports? Midland High's got athletes that play multiple sports. Yes, and I, I think you look at a lot of the pro athletes, they'll say that it's good for you to play multiple sports, even if you don't excel in that second sport. You meet different people, you use different muscles. Walker nearly had the steal. Trevor Davis with a bounce pass, knocked away, recovered by Dow. 30 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Vince Walker coming up with the block, and then the Chargers committing the foul. Midland High playing great defense at the moment. I think you could say, when you look at this Midland High roster, that for most of these players, basketball is the second sport. It's not the non-dominant sport. But they play pretty good basketball. But you know, when you're a good athlete, it just takes you a couple of practices to kind of get back into things. And um, they're, they're routing into a pretty good team. Midland High coming on the heels of a great season a year ago. 15 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Trevor Davis with the ball for Dow. Works it now over to Logan Daniels, who works back to Ben Settler. Clock down to five, four. Settler passing it back to Davis. A second to go. Davis fires up a three-pointer. Count it. Trevor Davis making a habit of scoring at the buzzer. But Midland High is the team that has controlled this game from the get-go, and the Kimmix go into the locker room with a 27-point, with a 17-point lead over Dow High. You know, it kind of feels like 27, <laughs> you know, it, just it, because. It's a, it's a big lead, not quite as big as well, I tried to give them. Well, you know, if you start looking at the feel on the offensive side, Trevor Davis has hit two buzzers and has scored half their points basically at buzzer shots outside of their offense. So they, they've got some talking to do. So the Midland High Chemex take their lead into halftime here on MPS TV. It's the Midland High Chemex 30, the Dow High Chargers 13. The third quarter is coming up next here on MPS TV. We are back here at Midland High halftime of boys basketball on MPS TV. The Kimmicks and the Chargers round number one of boys basketball. Midland High leading 30 to 13 over the Dow High Chargers. Jason Harper and Tom Bell. And uh, let's take a look, Tom, at the keys to victory. And let's see how these two teams are faring for the Dow High Chargers. Okay, taking advantage of bench strength. Uh, not much is happening. Uh, give them about a D. Establish outside shooting. Uh, other than Trevor uh, Davis at the end of the quarters, uh, they're about a, a, a D also, maybe C minus. And defend Willis behind the three point line. Willis really hasn't had to shoot a whole lot. There's been a lot more things uh, to choose from. So I guess with Willis, uh, we'd give him about a C, C plus. For the Midland High Chemex, they've got a 17-point lead. Involved sophomores early. Uh, they've scored a lot. They've really blended in. Kind of forget who's a sophomore and who is not. Uh, I'd give them B plus, A minus. Forced out turnovers. Uh, that's happened a lot. Probably another B plus. Pressure Trevor Davis. Uh, Jordan Patty has been uh, in, in tr Trevor's face a lot. Um, I'd, I'd give them uh, probably a B or a B plus on that one. So um, I think you're grading hard. You, you missed school. 
Oh, no, no. I mean, a, a, a real strength is an A. All right. And uh, I did not see a lot of strength there. Okay. So. Are the Midland High students having some fun here at home for the contest here tonight? I don't know what they're doing, but they're having fun doing it, Tom. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Have, having fun, having a good time. And that yeah. definitely is uh, Midland High in this game here tonight. They have built a big lead over the Dow High Chargers. We'll see uh, what Mark Dickerson has done at halftime to see to uh, try to cut down the lead. There's the, uh, the Chargers student section. Still in good numbers, still in good spirits, but they have not had much to cheer about here in this boys contest. Not yet. And you know, every coach says about the first three minutes of the second half can dictate the whole complexion of the entire second half of the game. Now here we go. Dow High with the ball to start the second half. Trevor Davis goes inside to Caleb Brudo. And there's the basket by the Dow High Chargers. That's what Dow High needs to do. Start scoring and Brudo scoring just 20 seconds into the half. Midland High trying to answer. Patty's three pointer is no good on the ground and a travel is going to be called by Molinar, who did a good job coming down with the rebound, but didn't have much of a choice but to travel with the ball. Midland will inbound underneath their own basket. And they inbound a long ways. Lucky to come away with that. Jordan Patty, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Trevor Davis. Chargers down the court quickly. Davis looking to go coast to coast. He'll get the bucket and the foul. Jordan Patty will commit the foul, and Trevor Davis will go to the free throw line looking for the three-point play. This is what the Chargers need to do to get back into this game. They really do, and uh, Davis outran a couple of Chargers that were kind of loping up the court, having no idea how fast Davis was advancing the ball. Missed the free throw. Patty with the ball for Midland High. Throws it away. Dow High comes away with that. Logan Daniels for the steal, and Garrett Willis nearly stole it back. Getting a little sloppy in the early stages. I don't know what they're trying to create, but not much is happening so far. Willis wearing the protective goggles. I don't remember that last year. No, I don't know if he got poked in his eye recently, just protecting it. Martin Money, coast to coast, can't get the basket, but there for the put back, Logan Daniels. The senior will get the bucket to fall through for Midland. First basket of the third quarter for the Kemet. Okay, that would be Willis. That, was that Willis? That was Willis. It was Willis because I'm looking at the wrong roster. You had the right number. See? Zach Chichester, three-pointer. That's his first three-pointer of the game. We were, we were just talking about Willis, too. Yes. <laughs> Three-pointer. Kessler, no good. Rebound by the Chargers. Caleb Brudo comes up with the board. Six minutes to go here in the third quarter. 12-point lead. The biggest lead Midland has had was 20, and Bridges is going to be called for a foul. I think either a push or a hit of the elbow. Kimmich did get Bridges. into a little bit of foul trouble in the first half of the game. No specific player, but now there's a player in a little bit of foul trouble because Isaiah Bridges is now playing with three. He stays on the floor for Midland High. Well, sure. they got Bruto going to the basket a little bit more right now. Let's see how the Kimmichs uh, defend that. Not a good pass there, and the Chargers to Trevor Davis. Try to come back to play defense with Martin Money. He thought he got all ball. Oh, they called it an intentional foul on yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think he went for the arms. Tried to drag the arms. Oh, I don't know about that call. Eric Kraus wants an explanation. And uh, I would want one as well. Bruce Moore is going to explain the call to Kraus. Trevor Davis will have two free throws and the Chargers will have the basketball. 
Martin Money wants an explanation himself, and uh, as Davis shoots the free throw, Kraus is still trying to get an explanation on that intentional foul. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm with Kraus. I don't think that was intentional. I thought it was more physical than it had to be. But, you know, there's a fine line there. Yeah. And, and, you know, the great thing about uh, about officiating, it's all about angles. Yeah, you know, that's true. Tom, we're standing right next to each other. We had two different opinions on that play. We're a long ways away, yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all about angles. Yes. It's a 10-point lead. Dow High is slowly trying to get back into this contest. Five and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. Bounce pass inside for the Chargers. Caleb Brudo will go to Trevor Davis. Three-pointer does not get the friendly bounce, but the Chargers get the rebound. Great job by Brudo of bringing down the ball. Chargers seem more organized. They're... Davis with a great read. He'll draw the foul. Davis could have went up with the basket. He hesitated briefly, and that hesitation is what drew the foul, and that will send Davis back to the free throw line. And I didn't watch where Bruto went, but uh, he exited the, the area inside the paint, which gave Davis a chance to drive. Davis hitting the free throw. Eric Krauss wants a timeout. Davis has got a smile on his face as the Chargers are chipping away at their deficit here on the road. 5.13 to go here in the third quarter. What was once say a 20 point deficit for Dow is now down to nine as Mark Dickerson talks to the Dow High Chargers. A lot of basketball in the Davis family. Davis's sister plays on the girls basketball team at Dow High and that game is airing this weekend as well on MPS TV. It's a great, great weekend if you're a fan of high school sports, boys basketball, girls basketball, wrestling airing this weekend in the month of February. We've got hockey and swimming coming up. We've got cheerleaders. It's it's a uh, it's a great time if you're a high school sports fan watching uh, MPS TV or the YouTube channel. And if you do watch the YouTube channel, then you're watching in high definition, which we you have... cannot do on your TV because you bought it in 1970. But the one next to it is high definition, <laughs> but this one only plays VHS, <laughs> you know, like um, Hoosiers and uh, that's on DVD. And this is Doubtfire. And, and you, can, you, okay. can, you can you can stream both of those. You don't even need a DVD. But I bought them for like <laughs> 20 cents each. <laughs> Trevor Davis hits the second free throw for the Dow High <laughs> Chargers. 32 to 24, 14 points for Davis. Wide open, John White underneath gets the bucket. White has played well off the bench for Midland. He's got 10. He may be the leading scorer for Midland. Working inside, shot no good. Patty will get the rebound. Yeah, he's easily the leading scorer. White feeding it to Patty from the free throw line. Chichester blocks it. Patty feeds it to White again. Add two more to White's total. 12 points for John White. Three pointer off the mark. Midland High will come back the other direction. Patty tried to hesitate, wanted to draw a foul from Davis. Davis wasn't falling for it. Walker into the paint, blocked away. Logan Daniels coming up with the block. Trevor Davis feeds it over to Daniels. Now Chichester, long three-pointer, count it. Back Chichester hitting the three. Eight points for Chichester. I see us seeing more of the Dow High team that's come into this game, uh, four and two. Vince Walker working the board nicely. Walker will get the bucket for Midland. Well, this is more of what we expected back and forth between these two teams. The second half is what we expected in a multitude of subs coming in for both of these teams. The problem if you're the Dow High Chargers is that you're still trying to 
overcome the deficit, but you have chipped it down quite a bit since halftime. But he's got some starters out there right now. It's not like he's he's really uh, changed over. Patty coming up with a steal, but he's got no place to go. Ran out of options. And now Trevor Davis will come back for the Chargers. Three pointer Mitchell Hayes no good foul called I believe Murray. that was against the Chargers. I think it was Murray. Kevin Murray one of the seniors on this Dow High team. Five seniors for the Chargers there's only two seniors on Midland High's team. Kimmich leading with just over three minutes to play here in the third quarter. Chichester near, nearly came up with a great steal. Midland High getting the ball back. And the Kimmichs that wanted to run and gun and play fast paced in the first half now trying to slow things down. Vince Walker baseline counts the bucket. And he's got nine. 13 point lead. Davis. Working to Chichester. Long two pointer. Zach Chichester with the bucket for the Chargers. Well, Chichester's helped by fighting his range this quarter. He's in double digits. He has eight in this quarter. Vince Walker on the baseline now to John White, working back to Patty. Patty goes into the paint. Can't get the foul, but Walker gets the rebound, and Walker will have the bucket and the foul. That is something that Walker has done well all night long, and Walker will be on the free throw line. You know, you can tell he was a receiver in football. The ball just finds his hands in there, and then he's got that soft little touch up on the glass. Nice sixth player, huh? <laughs> Garrett Willis will check back into the game for Midland. And the free throw is good for Walker. 43 to 29, two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Trevor Davis, good hesitation, doesn't get the shot to go. Vaughn Walker will have the rebound for Midland High. Fence passing to Vaughn. Now to Martin Money. Money taking a couple of dribbles. Garrett Willis, three pointer, count it. It felt good off the hands, and Garrett Willis able to hit the three. Trevor Davis trying to answer for the Dow High Chargers. Money knocking the ball away. 46 29, 130 to go here in the third quarter. Trevor Davis with the ball for the Chargers. He's made a habit of uh, hitting buzzer beaters at the end of the first quarter and at halftime. Caleb Bruto can't get the shot to fire, but Bruto gets the rebound, goes back up, and that time no problem. Bruto with the basket for the Chargers. Six points on the night for Bruto. Vaughn Walker to Martin Money. A minute to play here in the third quarter. Uh, looks like uh, Midland High is going to kind of slow it down a little bit, look for an opportunity. They work it into the paint. Now they go back out to Garrett Willis. Three-pointer rolls around is no good. Rebound by the Chargers. In fact, it was Tom Oakley who was back in the game for Dow High. Mitch Hayes is also into the game. 25 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Chichester into the paint, feeds it to Davis. Should have went up with the shot. Three-pointer, Mitch Hayes, count it. With 14 seconds to go, Mitch Hayes hitting the three, his second one, I believe, of the night. Martin Money answering on the other end, goes off the glass with the bucket, and Garrett Willis with a steal, doesn't get the shot to go as the third quarter comes to an end here at Midland High. It's the Kimmicks 48, 
the Chargers 34. Now, Tom, that was a much better quarter of basketball for Mark Dickerson and the Dow High Chargers. Dow High coming into tonight's game at four and two. Midland coming in at three and three. And if you're just tuning in to this contest here at halftime, you can check all the action of the game in its entirety. It is airing along with girls basketball and hockey this weekend here on MPS TV. Showtime's beginning at 8 o'clock at 8 o'clock. And also additional showtime will be on the MPS website, MidlandPS.org. There you see the showtime for tonight's contest and the Kimmick student section. Again, having fun, just like at halftime, getting involved in the game. Good old number 34 leading the roller coaster ride for the Midland High Kimmick fans. So, there's, there's the playback times, and of course, you can uh, check out the website for more information or watch it on the MPS YouTube channel. Before that shot by Mitchell Hayes, only three players for Dow all night have hit field goals from the from the field, twos or threes. They had Davis, they've got Chichester, and they've got Bruno. That was it until that three-pointer by Mitchell. Well, we were into the fourth quarter. We'll see uh, what kind of uh, momentum Dow can continue. Midland got lucky there. Yeah, they did. Vince Walker with the ball for Midland High. Walker being guarded very closely. Dow bringing up a little bit of more pressure and almost came up with a steal. Did Logan Daniels. Daniels has played very well defensively for the Chargers. Yes, he, he has. He's, uh, but you know, it's uh, you got to get a team effort and everybody playing with that kind of intensity. Isaiah Bridges will inbound the ball for Midland to Martin Money, who just checked back into the game. Money into the paint, and he'll be fouled, I believe. No, he traveled. They're not going to call a foul. They call Money with the travel. Money's lining up for a free throw, but that's not what happened. Eric Krause thought, everybody thought that it was a foul that was called, but that is not what was called. It was traveling against Martin Money. Sometimes that's called pulling the chair out from underneath. Martin was backing in, yeah. and uh, the defender backed off, and he fell. Eric Krause does not uh, agree letting the officials know. Now they go inside, and unable to get the bucket to fall was uh, Oakley. Now it's Midland High coming back down in the other direction. Midland High leading the game early on here in the fourth quarter. Garrett Willis inside to Isaiah Bridges, who will go to the free throw line. Did not get the bucket, but will have a chance for the free throw line. Meanwhile, Eric Krause is still working the officials, wanting to know why elbows aren't, well, Krause is well, just working the official. Okay, I, I think he's just instructing Isaiah to create a little more space underneath. Keep, keeping his elbows low, but creating some space. Uh, Bridges uh, spent last year at Kalamazoo Central High School. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Eric has a good time during these games, oh, doesn't he's, he? He's, he I, don't know, I don't know about a good time, but he's definitely letting the officials know his thoughts. Back to Bridges, Tom. Yeah, he, uh, he he was there there with his mom, and his mom moved back here. He was eligible right away. Uh, and I don't think that, I, I think he was like on the freshman team that, down there. When he came here, he elevated right to varsity. Well, the Midland High students are still fired up. Midland. Uh, I think that's Channel 5. That'll do it. Uh, channel 5 no, camera. That is not Channel 5. We don't care about Channel 5. We care <laughs> about MPS TV. Okay. <laughs> We've got them you fired up. You are correct. We, we have them fired up. Channel 5. You are stuck in the 70s, are you? You're right. It is one of us, isn't it, with the camera? Okay. Well, duh. <laughs> you do realize nobody watches local news anymore, right? 
again, cell phone, all the information you ever need. We'll, we'll get you in the digital age. You Sam. sound like my son. We'll, we'll, we'll get you caught up before, yeah. before too long. I guess cable TV is a thing of the past. Streaming. You can stream yeah. everything, even this game. In fact, there are people right now watching the stream of this game. Like in Colorado? They could be. Okay. On the MPF YouTube channel. Okay. Gotta be grandparents. <laughs> Garrett Willis, long two pointer. Shot is no good. The Dow High Churchers coming away with the basketball. Trevor Davis working it down for Dow. Stolen away, nearly stolen away. Great hustle by Garrett Willis, who lands at the feet of the Dow High student section. Well, he's taking the glasses off. We'll get a good look at, uh, I don't know if he's if he's protecting an eye injury or what, but. I don't think he's 100% comfortable with the goggles. They they fog up rather easily. Oh, they, they do. Uh, oh, home run ball. Just a little over six minutes to go. It is Midland High 50, Dow High 34. The Kimmicks have led the entire game. Chargers cut the deficit down to single digits at one point in the third quarter. Bridges nice just had a block, but Chargers got the ball back. Well, Midland High knows exactly where Davis is. They're putting a lot of pressure on him. They've got uh, Vince Walker on him which is going to be a tough guy to shoot over. Nick Soraki is into the game for the first time, but it's Trevor Davis that works the baseline for the Dow High Chargers, but all by himself, John White can't get the bucket to go. Saw the pressure coming from Bruto, but nobody was back on White. Trevor Davis, three-pointer, no good. Martin Money with the rebound, he'll be fouled. Now, unfortunately, that foul doesn't equate into shots yet, but uh, it might get there eventually. Zach Chichester comes back in for Dow. Garrett Willis re-entering for Midland. Chichester was a real plus for Dow in that third quarter. Uh, his outside shot was falling. Martin Money into the paint, but can't handle the basketball. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be Kimmich Hall. Actually, the officials are going to get together, and it's going to be Dow High ball. That's a good yeah. job by the officials. But uh, for a minute there, I didn't think Eric was going to give up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the right call. I, I think it was. Nick Siraki, he's a sophomore. Fires inside to Brudo. Now goes baseline, works it back out. Trevor Davis over to Zach Chichester, but the three-pointer no good. Brudo with the rebound, and a foul will be called. Couldn't tell. It was really crowded in there. Wait to find out who they call the foul on. It's going to be... Uh, now it's going to be Isaiah Bridges, and that's going to be the fourth one on Bridges. So he's going to head to the sideline, and John White is going to come back into the game. The Chargers will inbound underneath their own basket. Trevor Davis inbounds the ball to Chichester. Chichester to Davis, working inside to Prudo. Nice hook shot, a nice defense by Midland, and we're going to have a travel called as Virgil Walker brought the ball down. It was kind of the Virgil and Garrett Willis rebound. Uh, Willis was on his back, caused uh, Walker to uh, take an extra step. Timeout will be called as the Kimmicks and the Chargers will talk things over. 4.49 on the clock. Midland High with a commanding lead over the Dow High Chargers. 50 to 36. The biggest lead of this game was back in the first half. Dow High did a pretty good job coming out at uh, at halftime and uh, 
came up and cut that deficit down to single digits. The lead was 20, wasn't it, before the three-point? I think it was 30 to right. 10 right. was the biggest uh, was deficit. In the, in the second quarter. Yes, it was, till Davis hit the shot at the buzzer. So the Chargers will inbound underneath their own basket, looking to come up with some points. Zach Chichester will feed it over to Trevor Davis. Davis, nice spin move. His shot is blocked. John White coming up with a block, and a foul will be called during the battle for the rebound. Looks like the foul is going to be going against the On Siraki, Chargers. I, yeah. I believe. It is Nick Siraki that picks up the foul. Boys basketball, these two teams will meet on the first Friday in February. Boys basketball district, Martin Money letting the elbows fly, but Trevor Davis gets the steal, and Davis will lay it in. Trevor Davis with the bucket for the Dow High Chargers. John White working over to Martin Money. The districts for the boys will be played at Bay City Central this year. Martin Money driving into the paint. The foul is going to be called against the Chargers. Looks like uh, it will be Logan Daniels picking up the foul. Your first Friday in February sounds a little bit like Dr. Seuss, the beginning of something, huh? What is that? February 3rd uh, will be the... Uh, the day that will be at Dow High. Too bad it's not the fifth. <laughs> okay. And then the, of course, the districts that uh, will begin in March. First full week of March. Midland High with the ball, 350 to go here in the fourth quarter. Wide open, John White count the three-pointer. John White has had himself a day coming off the bench, the sophomore for Midland High. He has uh, 14. Siraki with the ball into the paint. His shot partially blocked, but Bruto is there to put it back in for the Chargers. Wide open, John White took the long Hail Mary pass, but his shot was partially blocked by Chai Chester, and uh, he was a little too far underneath the basket. White's played a good game. Trevor Davis, three-pointer, no good. Gets his own rebound, shoots it back out. Three-pointer, no good. Out of bounds, Midland High basketball. Mark Dickerson thought it should be Charger ball. Not so, according to the referee. Well, we got Bridges coming back in. He has four. But uh, Midland High's uh, got it, uh, got the game sorta of comfortable right now. Dow's putting some pressure, full court on, on Walker. 13 point lead, Garrett Willis. Reverse layup. Nice reverse. He has 12. 15 point lead. Biggest lead was 20. Zach Chichester, three-pointer no good. Rebound by Midland. Numbers for the Midland High, Kim X, and Chichester steals the ball away. They were looking for Bridges underneath. That did not work out. But Midland will steal the ball back on the other direction. And Eric Krause wants the Kim X to slow the pace yes. down a little bit. No need to... Uh, to really pile on the points if you're a Midland High. The clock is their friend here. Eric Krause has had no problem in years past burning a lot of time off. Chargers playing very aggressive defense on the perimeter. Virgil Walker with the basketball now for Midland. 150 to go in the game and the Chargers committing a foul in order to stop the clock. Not much else you can do for the Chargers if Midland is going to hold on to the ball. You pretty much have to foul if you want the clock to stop, and that will send Virgil Walker to the free throw line. You can almost hear the Dow bus warming up right now. Although I don't think they send a bus here anymore. 
It, uh, it, pretty much at the at the point now that some new faces may be entering this contest and yeah I think you know the writing is on the wall for both of these teams. Walker hitting the first free throw. And that's 13 for Walker. He, he's had a really good game. He's handled the ball well. He's rebounded. Both Walker and White have played phenomenally off the bench. Rebound and Garrett Willis will get the bucket and the foul. So Garrett Willis will have a chance for a three point play for the Midland High Kimmich. You know there are times that you just know everything's going to be OK and Willis put the ball up and uh, that was his first basket without goggles I think No, he had the goggles on. Oh, oh, oh he pulled him up. OK. Garrett Willis averaging 11 points a game for the Midland High Kimmich. Able to hit the free throw he's got. 15 points tonight. And 15 leads uh, Dow, or at least middle and high. Mark Dickerson is going to call a timeout with 142 to play in the contest. 59 to 40. The Midland High Chemex very close to uh, having the their biggest lead or equal to their biggest lead. High school basketball here on MPS TV. If you're just tuning in, you can watch this game along with the girls game all weekend long, along with wrestling all airing this weekend on MPS TV. Well, I think the uh, performance tonight's indicative of how hard Midland High has had to play in their part of the schedule. They've had Saginaw and they've had Arthur Hill. And they played him tough, but lo lost to them. Uh, where Dow, uh, they, they've had a little easier road, a little bit easier road. They put on a few extra wins, uh, but you're going to see Dow get better and better. They've got a lot of players who are uh, offensive side. They're, uh, they, I think we're, we're going to see them with a little better effort uh, when we play over at their place in February. Well, the three losses that Midland High has had to Davison last Friday as Trevor Davis fires up a three pointer. Ball's on the ground, everybody fighting for it. Yeah, I forgot it will be that Midland High Davison. basketball. The loss last week to Davison, who Eric Kraus described as a tough team. They lost to Arthur Hill in a game they played well in moments. And the only real disappointing loss Midland High has had on the year has, has been to Mount Pleasant. And that was a game that Eric Kraus believes that they should have won. They just didn't play well. That, that's right. That was early in the year. He had a lot of sophomores. He was trying to get comfortable and they just didn't play well. OK, I guess they haven't played Saginaw. Oh, they that, were going to play Saginaw this week. Right. That and game was got, postponed due to weather. That's right. So the last minute and 24 seconds of this game. We're getting some new people a chance to uh, get some experience. Midland High will have Drew Gandy bringing the ball down. Now working over to Trey Childery, he another sophomore on this Midland High team. Gandy taking a couple of dribbles. As we mentioned, a lot of new faces into the game for the Midland High Chemex. Gandy is a junior for Midland High. Lost his handle on the dribble, but able to recover with a little bit help of the of the block. Under a minute to go as Midland High works to Ben Worley. Worley trying to drive to the basket, loses the handle. Chargers will come away with the basketball. Soraki coming up with the steal. Ben Zettler with the ball now for the Chargers. 35 seconds to play before the Midland High Kimmich will celebrate the win here tonight. And we've got an offensive foul called against the Chargers. Reed Renicky will check in for Dow High. 19 point lead for Midland High. The Kimmicks never out. Well, did they get the sub in in time? No, they did not. Midland High is trying to uh, get Henry Kessler back into the game, but 
Eric Krause is uh, I, I going to be denied, so Krause will call a timeout, and that will yeah. get Kessler into the game. They also were trying to get Vince Walker off. I think he got hit in the knee or uh, the upper thigh with a knee, and he's having a little trouble walking right now. So I, I think they were going to try to uh, uh, substitute two players at the same time. As Walker kind of walked off the court, they only had four players on. Nine, well, just a few seconds left to a play in this game before Midland can officially celebrate the win here tonight. 30 seconds on the clock. Chargers coming up with a steal. Soraki outlet fed, but the shot no good. Childery will get the rebound. Midland will now quickly move ahead underneath Jacob Mutcher, and he will go to the free throw line. Another junior as uh, Jacob Mutcher will be on the free throw line for Midland. May get into the, uh, the box score yet. And you can't fault these guys for wanting to score, you know? Dow Midland game. Uh, you've got uh, guys that don't see a lot of playing time yet. And uh, maybe you can get in on in the scoring column. Going out on the first free throw. Or the second one. Final seconds ticking off the clock here at Midland High. Chargers with the basketball in the final second, trying to come up with a shot against this Midland High defense. And Maurice Guerrier outlets the ball. And the game is now officially concluded as the Midland High Kimmick led from start to finish here tonight at home. They hit the first three-pointer on the first possession, and the Kimmicks never let up here tonight, coming away with a 19-point win over the Chargers. And uh, that would have been fun to watch that last three-pointer go. That would have given Dow four last-second shots to finish the first, second, third, and fourth quarters. Uh, that would have given them 12 points on buzzer shots. But uh, Midland High played the most consistent tonight. Dow came out in the second half. They really played together. Uh, you started to see how Dow was able to win throughout the season, and they're going to continue to improve as the year goes on. Now, the other thing for the Midland High Chemex is they got great play off of the bench. Vince Walker played very well. John White played very well. So this was a, a Midland High Kimmick team that, you know, did what they had to do. The starters obviously did what they had to do, but then you brought people off the bench, and Midland High never missed a beat. And that really helps a team in practice when you've got people on the bench that are pushing the starters. It just makes the team better, and it gives Kraus that kind of confidence that he can draw from the bench and expect to get some good performances. I thought uh, Vince Walker played a whale of a game defensively and had enough points to be a real weapon tonight. Now the Midland High Kimmicks will improve to four and three with the victory. The Dow High Chargers dropping down to four and three with the loss. The Midland High boys will celebrate a win. Tom, your final thoughts on tonight's game. I, I thought that uh, Midland High played with more poise. Maybe it's because it's a home game. Uh, Dow High struggled uh, in the first half greatly. And uh, to their credit, they pulled it together. They got, they got some points early in the second quarter. But Midland High just played a little more settled. And uh, they, they scored more when they had to. Yeah, it was Midland High basketball from start to finish here tonight. In a couple of moments, you're going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know any of these individuals, take time to say thank you for bringing high school sports to you here on MPS TV. It could not be done without their help. The Midland High Chemics coming away with a 19-point win. For Tom Bell and our entire crew, my name is Jason Harper. Our final score tonight, Midland High 59, Dow High 40. Good night.